it's it's been an extraordinary partnership, honestly, because uh, look, we're all about the business normally of just telling an exciting, thrilling, emotional story about a family and some friends and even some enemies who were trying to survive and thrive in a in a feudal United States 15 years after a global blackout. That's great. That's our day job. But um, but to have partnered with the UN and and sit down and hear, frankly, some of the most incredible stories I've ever heard as a storyteller myself has been nothing short of of really, really inspiring. And it has helped us be exciting and thrilling and emotional in ways that are much more real at the end of the day. So when you get to sit down in person or Skype with or talk on the phone with UN experts, uh, Dirk Sigar and Amani Salah and uh, Pranil Ironside. The well, first thing, your first takeaway is that you can't work at the UN unless you have a really cool name. <laughs> but uh, Trey Calloway, that's a pretty good name. <laughs> no, I like no, Trey no, Calloway. No, no. PI. Uh, but, uh, but beyond that, honestly, to sit and hear extraordinary tales of people uh, working to negotiate with uh, dangerous warlords in the Sudan or Darfur, to to be able to hear harrowing first-person accounts of kidnappings or uh, overcrowded refugee camps in Yemen or Syria, to be able to hear tales of the fight to liberate child soldiers from the People's Republic of Congo. Uh, these are stories that, quite honestly, after we finished each one of these interviews with a different UN expert, every writer in the room, we all sort of turn to each other in the revolutionary, uh, Revolution Writers Room and say, we're not worthy. Um, it's, it, these are really, really amazing stories. So whatever little amount we're able to do then in formulating character and story uh, that allows us to be true to, as, as true as a television show Wednesday nights at 8, 7 central can be, um, uh, as much as we can do to push ourselves a little closer to what is real, uh, the show has ultimately benefited greatly this season. Can you give us some examples of some of the things that you've gleaned from from these uh, relationships that you've actually applied to the show? Definitely. I mean, we have we have uh, we have applied in in dramatic fashion uh, some of the lessons we learned about negotiating with and dealing with warlords. That helped fuel a, a story early in our season uh, when our heroes had to do battle with Titus Andover, a uh, nefarious warlord terrorizing the Texas plains. Um, We've applied it, uh, some of the lessons learned to uh, depictions of refugee camps in the South and in the Northeastern United States. We have, uh, we have also applied lessons learned to uh, disease outbreak, uh, not only discussions of polio and, and other diseases that would affect people in a powerless society, but uh, specifically a typhus outbreak that occurred later in our season, all the way up to and including the, the forcible conscription of young people as child soldiers at the hands of our nefarious villains, the so-called patriots. So all of those things were really very directly inspired in a lot of ways by our conversations with UN experts. 